Well, let's get this girl fired up. windshield's a little dirty but we're gonna go for a little drive anyway All right Jess you stay home short video I mentioned maybe I take you on drive and show you some of the down corn around here and this is the field right across from my house this is one of our fields you can tell out in here not looking too good like right there and there's places like that all over out in the field just down it's not looking very good and like I said in that other video there are there are people a lot worse off than we are where their fields are just completely flat. I think different hybrids, maybe, you know, they stand on them a little bit better. But you can tell, just looking out across here, it's, it's down pretty darn bad. So this is gonna be a fun harvest. May have to go one way, only be able to combine one way. We aren't sure yet, but it's gonna be, it's gonna be a challenge. Probably gonna make harvest a little bit longer than usual. But this is one of our fields. This one over here, which is just north of my house, it uh, it's not down quite as bad, but it's still pretty bad. And I imagine once you get out there in the field, it's probably going to be worse than it looks like just driving down the road here. Then you come up here around the corner. This field over here to my right, that's our field as well, which goes goes all the way up to those bins up there. And it's not looking real good either. I don't know if the camera's picking it up very good or not, but it's not looking real good. Like I said, things could be worse, but they could be a whole heck of a lot better as well. It's it's laid over pretty bad. I mean, you can't even driving down the road. You can't even row it right now. It's just it's just a mess. Might be able to tell here. Well, maybe not. Beans don't really look too bad. They might be bent over in places, but they, they aren't looking near as bad as the corn. That's after that big storm that blew through, what, two weeks ago now? Something like that, a week, week and a half, two weeks, I don't know. But beans don't look too bad, they're starting to turn. And then here, right on the west end of this field, this is one of our bin sites. If you followed my channel, you've been here before, but we didn't have any bin damage. Um, There's some people that have lost several grain bins. My sister and her husband, they, they had one that got lifted up off its foundation. Another guy that we know, um, he lost seven. So I don't think the wind, wind must not have been quite as strong here as it was in other places, but it was strong enough, I can tell you that. They say out, out east of here it was 140 miles an hour. I think here it was 90 to 100, something like that. But all of our bins, this bin site and then our other bin site, um, don't believe we have any damage, so should be good to go. We'll get out of here and I'll run up town. Had some damage up there on at the elevator. They had one of their big big storage bins or two of them actually uh, one got completely destroyed I'm not sure about the other one let's go take a look you can tell this corn's all laid over too but pretty much everybody's in the same boat around here corn's all laid over like I said in that little short video I did the other night if you watch that everybody's probably going to be getting a reel for their their corn head if they can make them fast enough, because everybody's gonna be one. I mean, look at that. That's that's pretty bad right there. I've seen worse. Good thing is we didn't get any hail around here. I've, I've driven by some fields where they're all laid over like that and just 
shredded because of hail. I don't believe we got any hail, but then this field here, not standing too bad. I mean, it's down. You can tell it's down out in there, but not as bad as sound. Anyway, here we are up in town at the elevator. Got uh, got these great big bins up here. Yeah, it looks like two of them got destroyed. Got this out here, and then the other part of it's the old part of the elevators in town there. But anyway, these two, these two bins out here got totally destroyed. I could hear them taking these down out of my house the other day. I couldn't figure out what the racket was I was hearing, but I looked up here and they were they were tearing these down. Quite a mess. There's the piece parts of them. Anybody need some scrap metal? But yeah, that was quite a storm. Um, We'll go drive by a couple other farms. I haven't even been by one of them here, but we got them scattered all over, but I'll just go by a couple here and see what they all look like. This is our other bin site here. No damage there either. Another one of our fields coming up here. Oh, we actually, actually farm this field too, but another cornfield up here. This one here on the left, that one's ours. It doesn't look too bad. Heck, you can actually row that. Well, kind of. I think there's a bad place. There's a car coming up behind me here. I'm gonna have to pull over and let him go by. But yeah, this is our field as well. Um, just came by and it goes from the you well, know, there's gravel road. Anyway, you can't see it. it's off over that way, and it goes goes over to that house over there. And there's a car coming. I'm gonna have to pull ahead here so he can get by. All right, we'll back on out of here. I'm not sure if I had the camera going when I came up onto this field. But it goes, goes from that house back there all the way up to uh, this gravel road up here. It doesn't look too bad. We have some, we have a couple fields quite a ways off that direction across the river that I haven't been over there, but I guess they're in not good shape. But that's ours, and then I'm not gonna go down the gravel road here, but yeah, we got, got there's some down this gravel road that are ours. I'll take you up to one, get in a lower gear here. Um, I'll go down the pavement up here, take a look at another fuel. This is ours as well. That auger was sitting straight north and south and I think it got blown a little bit sideways in that wind. Off over, <clears throat> off over here, this is one of my neighbors. They raise a lot of cattle and I'm not sure if you can see it. They have these hoop buildings. They had a couple of those get destroyed. My place is right over, right over in there. Anyway, I had to pull over and let a car go by. from right 
right here. Well, maybe you can't. I don't, I don't know how well the camera's picking it up. You can tell the corn's pretty well laid over. It's really turning brown. Yeah, it's not, not looking real. Not looking real good. Right here, it doesn't look too bad. And up here, there used to be a bunch of uh, hog houses and outbuildings, corn crib, all kinds of stuff. This is where my well, my great uncle lived. He was a master hog farmer. And he, well, he used to live in this house right here. Anyway, I can tell looking out over the field, there's places out in there where it's laid down, but it really doesn't look too bad. Not as bad as like right across the road from my house. I don't know. It's it's going to be a challenge, I think, but we'll get her done one way or another. This farm over here is ours as well, and then we have another one. Well, let's see, probably I don't know, it's two or three miles that way down this road. But yeah, this field over here doesn't look too good. The Stein soybeans, they they own this field. Well, I should just say Steins, I guess they they also do corn, but it's laid down or laid over it's not really laid down but it's laid over this feels right across the road from ours we know the people that farm it but anyway it's not looking too hot either and like I said with the luck that's going on this year as soon as harvest time hits, it's probably going to start raining and be wet all fall on top of the down corn. It's going to be a lot of fun. So here we are back at the fox shop. I'm going to put this girl back inside. I need to start making some videos on that. Anyway, we'll get this put away. So that's kind of what the corn looks like around here. Like I said, not near as bad as some other places. Some other people have it a lot worse than we do, but I don't know, might have been better if we did get some hail. So anyway guys, that's what's going on. And if you would, give this video a big old thumbs up. Comments go down below, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that little notification bell, that way you always know when I upload a video. And we'll catch you next time. Bye bye.